live everywhere there we go i am live that is wonderful so i hope you all had an amazing weekend for those of you who don't know who i am my name is ellen woodbridge and i am an independent stampin up demonstrator in australia so i sell stampin up products for you to make um, cards paper craft products and many 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 plethora of paper crafts. Hello Claire, thank you for joining me today. You are first on. I'm impressed. Hey Deb, hey Susan, hey Marjean. Um, as I said, welcome to Tuesday here in Australia. It's a bit cold. Hey Sylvia, hey um, Bobby, hey Cindy. It's um, it's cold here today. Um, about 15, I think it was 14 degrees um, when I was out a little earlier. So a bit on the chilly side hey Bev Mary Glenda Lee and Linda wow everyone's coming in rapid fire so today I am here to challenge my inner Ruth Trice my lovely lovely dear friend and I am going to do my version because I am no Ruth um, of a one sheet wonder so this was last month's so June's team swap so that's what I did with my um, downlines as our team swap it was to do a one sheet wonder a lot of them were intimidated by doing a stamped one sheet wonder so we I said you could also use uh, patterning paper and a lot of them were so much more um, comfortable it's warm and windy here promise of snow how can it be warm with a promise of snow felicity it should be freezing you're in new zealand i'm perplexed hello kathy thank you for joining i can see everyone's comments all the technology is working which is wonderful so the stamp sets we're working today are butterfly my teeth back in butterfly brilliance which is wonderful i've shown quite a few with this thanks for sharing bev i appreciate it and watercolor shapes i for the cards i've already made i did use bigger swish for the sentiment so i'll grab that down as well and we will see if we use it again so don't forget, just a reminder, any of the products that I use today are available to purchase in my store if you're in Australia. If you don't have a demonstrator anywhere else in the world, uh, I've got contacts. So please just drop me a line and I'll get you in contact with one of my amazing demonstrator friends. And we have currently going our designer series paper sale. I did a video, um, my last video actually, was showing every single sheet of all this amazing paper. Um, so you could see it in real life not in pictures but not in real life but you know what I mean um so you could see each one of these designs in each of the packs so it is 15% off until the 2nd of August I still have my little table up behind me I am down to putting away my dies and that was my video on Saturday my time which was my unboxing of brand new upcoming products from the Christmas mini we'll call it the Christmas mini because everyone knows what I'm talking about it's our Christmas um, holiday mini and it's amazing so I'll flick you guys around please tell me how your weekend was I'm assuming my dear American friends had a very very busy 4th of July uh, weekend and I'm assuming you've got your public holiday now or your national holiday I think you guys call them you call them a little bit different to what we call them here down under so I think I think we're pretty good. 
I'm liking that view. I will uh, turn off my overhead light, get rid of these shadows, and we will get going. thinking of something I do just need to grab a pen because something just came into my brain and I need to write it down otherwise I'm going to forget because I'm doing a little uh, video tomorrow for uh, some demonstrators so I just want to write this down before I forget so that gives you guys a chance to tell me how your weekend was mine was well you know I was with you all weekend you know how my weekend went it was all good oh nice to see you Shelly hey Rose happy Tuesday haha -ha. I'm on Tuesday already Rose I always come to you from the future you forget. I know you guys are all in. Could you try again? No, stop, Siri. How rude. Siri is so rude. Okay. So this is our if I can grab it because of course Ellen wasn't organized. This is the basis for our one sheet one dub. I started stamping and I realized for my team swaps this uh, smoky slate background wasn't going to work but I'm going to make it work today so I've already done a bit of a pre-stamping with our background stamp for um for today but and I've got some off cuts so this one is in basic gray so you can see here it's just slightly darker than the uh, smoky slate which for me did actually make a difference I've got some off cuts I've got a card front that I want to stamp here and I have a sentiment that I can stamp over as well now I've got some off cuts so we shall see how far we get today uh, I always know you're overseas. Hello, Miss K. I know I love watercolour shapes as well, Linda. So this is what I have made for my team swaps with my One Sheet Wonder. But I'm going to show you how I made this One Sheet Wonder and what I thought for these cards. This one was a bit smaller piece. So we've got a bigger mat and I use the uh, stitch rectangles. So this is actually two pieces that I have layered. So they were my team swaps, but I want to, and this was two one sheet wonders. So two of those are for all those cards, plus some extras. So there are some extra cards in here that, um, I just made up after I made my team swaps but because we didn't meet physically last month I'm still holding on to those team swaps so um, I'm I've already stamped the background I find it difficult to stamp with this hence why I've got a couple of dodgy extra pieces because I did drop this background stamp because my little hands only just bit around it and then I must have had a tremor because of my um, peripheral neuropathy and I dropped it but I still got workable pieces out of those dropped pieces and I just went with it hey Dion hey Lori oh thank you I'm glad you like those cards oh yours was quiet Bev that's okay Oh, nice, Cindy. Now, the other reason I came on live on the weekend was that I am having a worldwide online class. So that is happening this Sunday, my time, which will be Saturday US time. Um, so I do have the event here on, I do have the event on my 
business Facebook page if anyone would like you guys provide your material so you just need some pattern paper some card bases a sentiment set and a punch for the sentiments that's basically the four main things you need well thank you Bev thank you so I really should be playing with pattern paper to show you what we're doing but I'm not because this is sitting on my desk and I just want it done and off my desk so the colors I chose to use so basic gray I used on some pieces or smoky slate on this one mint macaron mango Mel melody coastal cabana floaty flamingo fresh freesia now some of these are stamped off so I think all of them except for the fresh freesia are stamped off what's that oh I didn't get that's um I missed one color and that is can't find it that is soft sea foam so this one here is soft sea foam so I got that one as well so used lots of colors so one two three four five six one two three four five six that makes sense and our background color okay so I'm going to have to put this card aside because I don't want to get anything on it now I have a lot of the stamps pre-mounted some of them I had to pull off because I needed the blocks so I'm going to get out the other stamps that I need because you know I have two full sets of blocks but I have done a lot of stamping between now and then and needed the blocks oh thank you I just stamped the background stamp repeatedly so it looked like one um, one complete sheet of butterflies although some of them are a bit close together over here but once you cut it up and put a sentiment on it actually won't make a difference one two three four five what am I missing big little this I've got to find oh I used the oval twice so one two three four five and I use the oval twice right perfect so I'm going to go one color at a time now this is where I'm keeping it uber simple and I am just using the two stamp sets in two the two stamp sets in two layers okay so I know Ruth puts four five six layers on her one sheet wonders that isn't my style I'm a bit more graphic a bit more simple and that's where we are going to go today hey Siri stop it's been very very rude so we're just adding color with these shapes and I know roughly where all my colors go because of what I have stamped before so we're not we're like highlighting the butterflies we're not actually coloring them in or stamping like there's no companion stamp for them so I thought if we just went in and highlighted them that was sort of where my thought process was in making this okay so they are all my big all my big butterflies actually I'm going to play smart and put them back in the basket I've got here because we have a lot a lot of blocks I can see this going a little haywire now I need to close 
these as I go because I don't need this one again. So I use the scissors to close my ink pads, otherwise my hands just can't do it. So we're going with soft sea foam next because that's the next in my order of things and I'm going to try to pile the ink pads in there and just have the cards slightly off screen. Oh, you can't wait for the class, Bev. I'm excited. But um, Bev, did you see that Facebook wasn't playing nicely and that the time may be slightly different? Um, I had it handwritten at the right time. So this one and then this one. So this one I don't stamp off because it's such a light color as it is it doesn't actually need stamping off I think oh, I need to go off the edge on this one so even where it goes off the edge I'm still adding a titch just a titch of color one, two, three, one. Yeah, I can add a bit more colour to this one down here as well. Just, just finishes it off, I feel. So yeah, the class is $10. Um, so if you want to be a part of the class, please just tell me. Um, just mark yourself as going or interested in the event and I can contact you from there. So we'll be conducting the class via Zoom. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing and see my face. There's so something I could do here, but I haven't got it set up. So flirty flamingo. What we want to do with the flirty flamingo is stamp it off and then stamp it on so i probably that one was probably a titch light but that one's better because the color's building up on the stamp just a little and i stamped it off just that bit lighter on the paper off and on so you can see this is just methodical highlighting the butterflies um i think i've got all the butterflies one two three one two there's one there but oh, i may just do corner corner there just the titchiest amount there okay this one I need to clean but I'm going to be terrible and just use a baby wipe because I haven't got any of my cleaners prepared and I just what I had something funky on my desk I will give this a proper clean when I am done okay carefully close this who has come oh hello Delinda you like how I'm adding the color I'm glad oh thank you Delinda hi Myrtle I'm glad you like these butterflies I oh my word I've got my other pieces where are my other pieces oh they're over here that's okay we'll do this no well I've got this out oh, poo. Poo, 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 poo. right boo and hiss I forgot about my other pieces
so just stamping it off to get less intense color uh, that's all good i think with that one now let me grab this baby wipe again and i'll just quickly go backwards with my other colors let me just go in there for the moment so i may not make all of the cards up but i will show you an alternative version to this card hello paula thank you so much yes she is i haven't actually showed her this so what i was going to do when i finish stamping that big uh one sheet wonder i am going to take a pause and just step to the side and take a photo on my ipad because i'm filming off my phone um so take that off my ipad and then i'll upload it onto her group and show the cards as well okay i'm done with those because that's only one and that's not going to have any uh, i'll just pop a stamped off color on it lucky i picked this up while i was going hey go back to the fresh freezer and then we'll go from there i wish someone would have reminded me i rely on you girls and you've let me down like truly it's all good i love you all hello jenny how are you okay so back to the fresh freezer oh, right so i've got one on this one so just stamp it partially off so that one's done and then we've got the two on this strip so one, I just love how it's like no fuss colouring. Is this your guy's style or is this like very much me and no one else? Please tell me. I'd love to know. No, I didn't miss any other butterflies. Okay, so next in my colour is the Coastal Cabana that we're going to use stamped off. So you can see the difference in the two Coastal Cabanas here. Um, the birthday is very, very bold. And then this one is stamped off. So, circle. So the teeny circle. So we've used all the circles in that in this watercolour shapes set. So stamp off, stamp on. And that's those two on that one. And just let me put a hint of colour on that one. That's good for that. And then we'll bring in our huge, I call it huge because it's large a full A4 sheet and oh, something's in the oven the oven timer is going off it must be the kids lunch counting down well we don't know yet if they're going back to school next week should get that announcement in the next couple of days which is a bit oh you like simple stamping Laurie Laurie yeah, well, that's the thing. I, I love Ruth's One Sheet Wonders. Unfortunately, I went to do it and I kind of got this paralyzing, oh, I can't do this. One, 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 one. And this one here on the corner. I got this paralyzing, this isn't me. And then I went, no, take a step back. How can I make this me? And I went, right, let's fill the background with butterflies and let's use, because I always wanted to use watercolour shapes for my One Sheet Wonders. Um, and I did. 
So, and I kind of had this sentiment, um, the biggest wish sentiment out as well. And I thought, oh, maybe I can use that in the background. I didn't end up doing that, but I'm really happy with how this came together. Would we'll make gorgeous wrapping if you were like doing an extravagant gift. It will make gorgeous wrapping. Okay. So now we're doing this little butterfly here. So we're going, no, no, we're doing, yes, we're doing this little one here with stamped off Mango Melody because Mango Melody is a pretty full on color. It's a bright yellow. So it's actually really a yellowy orange. So what I decided to do was make this more of a diamond shape than a square. I just thought that was a bit more interesting to turn it into a diamond. So that's what I did. And even getting these little bits going off the page. So it's kind of like a puzzle. I'm there going now, where are my flirty flamingo ones? And we're doing the one above flirty flamingo and that's is that 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 this one here and i always make sure i have a really good look because i've done the same color for all of them and there's none at the bottom awesome so that's my big one sheet done with that one so we're going this one here. Done. And this one will just have one. And done. So do you have any questions about one sheet wonders? Do they intimidate you? Do, are you just like, hell no, not me? I'd love to hear because I did a one sheet wonder a really, really long time ago and I did it in a class, like an in-person class, and we just stamped a whole background. Uh, no, uh, Paula, when I bring back in the big sheet, I'll explain which ones are, are stamped off. Oh. Seriously, which ones are stamped off and which ones aren't. So just when I bring in the big sheet, I will explain now that I've cleaned myself up. And I think I saw Wurge is updating me about pre-order. Love a bag or a box too. Yes, Delinda, that would be good. Hello there, just saw you live. Yay, you got your pre-order. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, great news. And do you know what? I worked out, I actually got my pre-order on Friday night. When I looked through my emails, I got the notification that it was delivered at like 10.30 at night. So, Paula, in answer to your question, Fresh Freezer is full strength. Coastal Cabana stamped off. Flirty Flamingo stamped off. Um, soft sea foam full strength, mint macaron stamped off, and mango melody stamped off. So when you look at those six colours as a group, they have pretty much complement each other. Where if I'd stamped them all originally how they're meant to be stamped, there will be ones competing for your eye, but I want I wanted this to be a bit more harmonious, which is why I did a lot of experimenting, and I even experimented with a gorgeous grape. So you can see here the difference between the stamped on and stamped off. This one I experimented with stamped off. Fresh Freezer, which was a bit too light. Um, this one has full strength, um, 
full strength floaty flamingo. Like I did do a bit of experimenting on the bits where I dropped the background stamp. So I definitely did some experimenting first and then I went for it. Okay, so every butterfly is colored on this one. Bring in my other one. So does that answer, does that make sense to my process? I'm hoping it does. These ones wouldn't have necessarily, mm, this one's, this one's kind of hurting my brain. I think I'm going to have to go back and add some edges, some edge colours on this one. Because it, or just cut it down to a smaller card front. I think cutting it down to a smaller card front will just, because this edge is a bit too straight with the butterflies and it's knocking off my eye and my brain. So if I just trim it down a little, I think it'll work much better for this old brain here. Oh, thank you. Like I knew the colors I wanted to use and then I just experimented with how that would look as such. And I just looked here, I know that one would be just plain black and white yeah I it's just experimenting and a couple of pieces I happily threw out because they they just looked they for me they didn't look right so some of them I did definitely throw out so And this one is that one, which is this one. So just what, watch out, I've got ink on my edge. Have I meant so I've got one, two, and one, and two, and none above. Perfect. That I'm really happy with. So I'm going to pop so what I've been doing when I'm using lots of stamps is just popping my blocks in the basket so they're corralled and then I can clean them all at once so that's my plan so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop off screen for a second oh no I'm going to close this and I'm going to take a photo of this one sheet Ugh. Jeez Louise, that's a tight ink pad. Um, and take a photo of this whole one sheet before I cut it up. So just bear with me. I will leave you with the card. Chat amongst yourselves. I'm not leaving the room. It does make sense. Good. I'm so glad, Paula. Right. Do camera. See, I'm not that far away that I can't talk to you and you can't hear me ramble. Okay. It's very hard taking a photo on my iPad, may I say. It's so huge to hold. Is the camera clean? No, it is not. Camera cleanse is filthy. That's better. Let's see if we can focus my shirts on the desk which is never helpful take a couple for good measure check my photos they look great right now we can cut this baby up so what i was thinking so the reason this sheet was also a reject is because what i actually wanted to do was do portrait 
um, portrait orientation, but I stamped it landscape. So for this card, or for these cutouts that I'm going to do, I am going to cut strips and not do full card fronts. I'm going to make some landscape cards and like make some strips. So trimmer. Just so we can get more bang for our buck. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do full strips. So I'm going to cut the whole piece in half so it goes the full width. Okay. Then, so the height of this card is ten and a half. So if I'm, and yes, I am going to cut both sheets at exactly the same time. So ten and a half, that will be five and five point two point five. Is that right? Half of ten is five. Half of a half is two point five. Yes. So, phase two, so we're going to get some, hopefully we'll get almost all the colours, like this one is missing a couple of colours, so it gives us a bit more variety as such, well, that's that's not straight. So what I find if my two pieces aren't playing nicely, I jam them in the corner, make them one complete piece, and then I'll put them in the correct placing. And then I'll come up and cut. So that's four. I'm going to cut from the other end here. I don't. Yep, I'm going to cut from the other end. Oh, do I? Let me look at the bottoms. I know I'm being pedantic. No, I'll go from the top. <sighs> Make them be friends, then slide across without moving them. So technically that should be the same. So two, four, six, eight cards right there by just using that as a centre strip on the card. Now while I'm here, I am going to trim this other piece here that I was not happy with. I'm thinking eight and a half that trims off there nah, I'm thinking maybe eight because I can just see the edges and you it's nicer and if you see the elements falling off the page rather than them being entrapped it just I know it's more pleasing to the eye okay so if we've gone down, because I'm going to have trimmed some height, maybe kind of, let me look at the back of this. Yeah, I kind of do. So if I just cut that at eight, that's two and a half centimetres. So I just want to, I'm just going to cut this piece here so I'm just cutting it where I've still got some of every like both colors at the bottom we're gonna lose the coastal cabana so we've got or maybe I cut this way too far down Ha! Oh. so we've got one one centimeter two centimetres, I cut that, did I cut it too far down? I did. Boo hiss. I 
that's okay I'll just cut this bit off here I've still got a tense of coastal cabana so what's that that is one two oh look I'm gonna work that out later I do need some of this side so if I take that off just trying to get it spatially correct I'm massacring this that looks better but not perfect that's okay and then I'd add mats onto this so that's what I'm looking at doing where my original card I um, just matted it on the um, basic grey um, these ones I most likely will not yes uh, it's still saying may I know you're trying to say that I know what you're trying to say it's all good all good um so I may mat these on smoky slate I'm just going to do a couple with you um and then oh hang on I've got this piece as well what about this piece so this piece is at nine so it's a centimeter and a half so it is one centimeter and a half there we go so that is like that's that's what a centimeter and a half looks like so if I wanted to I could map another color then stick it on white and then I have this piece that could just be a focal or could add another piece at the bottom there's lots of things I could do or I just pop it like this I think I like it better on a landscape and then the sentiment overlapping there <laughs> oh sorry Delinda I'll just laugh at you you know I love you a lot but I will just laugh at your autocorrect it's hating you today hating you hating you um so I'm going to get some smoky slate Where are you, Smoky Slate? I can tell I don't use it as much as what I once did because it's not at the front. Okay. I will need two sheets of this, but so I want to cut in half. And then I want this, so I'm going to cut it in half anyway, and I'm just going to show you, it sort of corrals all the colours. So you can see it just gives you a nice mat, and then if I have, I do have, I'm just going to grab it like a thick whisper white. That is a thick whisper white. Awesome. So I just want to show you. You can see it keeps the brightness of the card, but it draws your eyes into that area. Okay. So this is a 5.25. So I want a decent mat. I think I might just cut one first my cut five I'll go a centimeter and I'll just play with the proportions on a card I'm just gonna pop this off to the side because I'm going to grab it in a sec back anyway 
is cold this in half bone folder so do you guys want me to make these into cards so you can see the process woe to go or go to woe whichever way you want to say it so one and two now I could also pick out like the fresh freezer and put this on fresh freezer I can show you what that looks like as well I do think think that may be good and I think in my little basket of goodies here I have some sentiments because I made too many so what I can do is then just add this sentiment up here and doesn't look too bad because I've stayed within the same grey family I like that so this sentiment I have overlapped the birthday and the happy with the biggest wish so that's what I've done or do I just go with the basic grey to match I'm just going to have a look because I've not ruined anything I've still got a card base uh, basic grey basic black where's my basic grey basic grey okay we're just gonna have a looky a looky see here oh, that might be absolutely perfect oh I just whacked myself in the glasses can we just comment how special I am do you know what I'm thinking I might just go five and a half and no this is a titch longer even though I've stamped the butterflies in smoky slightly I think this will go better than I've stamped in smoky slate put it on basic gray then matting it on smoky slate and then adding the basic gray if that makes sense and you can always embellish uh, that's a bit better that thin mat of the basic gray and then add the sentiment so there's always going to be a bit of a dead spot like I may even put a sentiment here at the bottom um, because that way I'm still getting those two colors it's just going to be slightly different now we'll go and try a fresh freesia card base and see how that looked <gasps> that looks nice that actually really brings it to life so I can match do you like the fresh freezer card base as opposed to the white I'm going to cut some um, of this basic gray so tell me if you like the fresh freezer or white card bases and I'll choose another color if um if there's no fresh freezer in that particular stamped piece thinking not quite okay piece basic gray You like the freezer like the freezers so show us how to make the card I like to watch your process both are good okay right 
thank you girls for the feedback always truly appreciate it okay apparently my son can't identify which table he wants his lunch at okay so i decided i'm cutting at five and a half so this cardstock i will only cut one layer at a time but the whisper white or the basic white rather cardstock is just that titch thinner that i can um that I can get away with cutting two sheets at the same time. But alas, for this one, I can't. But that's okay. So that's three done. And I said we've got six cuts. So we can do this. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's, you've always got the replay, Jenny. I'm sorry to hear they're both unwell. Make sure the piece of paper's straight is always a good idea. So how many of you have attempted a one sheet wonder? Have you been intimidated by Ruth's style or someone else's style? Or have I given you a good alternative to keep it simple? I'm hoping I've given you a bit of a good alternative to keep it simple. So I've got six and I said I wanted eight. I'm making a big pile off to the side too. Yay, fantastic, Jenny. That's great to hear. Okay. And two. So that is eight. And then I'm just thinking this one is nine so does this happen to be nine and a half oh look at this this is awesome nine and a half waste not want not let's make every centimeter of this paper work so nine and a half and that's one centimeter down by this Great. Awesome. We're going to leave my troublesome one. So that is now the perfect map for that. And I'll definitely put it on fresh freezer. So I'm just going to work out how many sentiments I've got and just make up that many cards with you. So I have four. So I'm going to do one on that. So one on that one, one on that one, and two of these. Now I'm just wondering, is there fresh freezer in like every single one of these? And I think there is. Well, that one's a bit different. That's got mostly little butterflies. Same with this one, but they've all got fresh freezer. So let me quickly cut some card bases so then I can just assemble while we're gone so i just need two card bases but i'll cut more but i only need two for now and i need them landscape orientation and i said eight so i need four pieces of paper two and four So I heard a very weird, and it was on a demonstrator, um, and I'm going to be smart, I'm going to bring in my basket of cards here, 
So I've just got my basket of cards. I'm just going to put all my cuts in there. So then I know what I'm using and what I'm not. And then these cuts can just go down the side. I wonder, I don't have wide grey ribbon. I have the only grey, whoops, that I have is my spidery silvery one, which is the metallic mesh. So are you wondering what I don't like it over it? I think it obstructs what we've done, but that's the only wide ribbon. I do not have a Skerica grey ribbon. I've got fresh freesia ribbon. I've got I haven't got any of the colours because I try and go a bit more neutral with my ribbons. But yeah, I'm sorry, Cindy. Okay, trimmer back over. Okay, so we want to score cut. Okay, so it was very funny. I can't remember what the other what the other term was but they were talking about hamburger fold with their cards it was two of the dd uh, two of our demonstrator managers in the us both who whom i have known for a really really long time back when they had different positions in stampin up and what they mean by hamburger fold is like like when you've got a hamburger bun and you open it out like that. So do you like the hamburger fold on the side or the top? And I'm just there going, hamburger and hot dog fold. Yes, hamburger fold. Is that how it goes? Hamburger fold or hot dog fold at the top? Is that what they were talking about, Cindy? Because... I'm assuming you saw the same video I did, Cindy. And this is sort of, that video was the basis for my class on the weekend, actually. Hot dog. So is the hamburger on your left-hand side and the hot dog at the top? It must be such an American thing because in my 10 years of Stampin' Up!, I have never, ever, ever heard that term. So I thought while I've got my brains trust here, I would um, check. Yes, that's what they mean. Ah, right. Well, apparently I am totally out of the loop. I'm, I'm like way out of the loop, guys. Way, way, way out of the loop. And these cut card bases are actually going directly in my little card box. My scraps are very messy on top of my iPad over there, but these bases and all my other bits and bobs are very neat and tidy so then all I have to do is put them together and I have a funny feeling the ones I make with you now on screen <laughs> the rest of them will not be put together for about a week because I have customer cards to make I've got to finish my class cards for Sunday I've got I've actually broke my blender well, I didn't break it. It broke. I used my blender to um, shred my cheese. So like my tasty cheese. And the plate that I put in the blender or the food processor actually died. Ah, Shanda, you've heard it. So it's an American thing. Hot dog is top, so hamburger is side. I prefer to eat. 
I prefer to eat a hamburger over a hot dog. And it has to have pineapple and beetroot on it. But I'm assuming that's a very Aussie thing to have hamburger and beetroot on a hamburger. I mean, pineapple and beetroot on a hamburger. I'm assuming that's very Australian. You hate those names. I normally do side fold or top fold. I'm a side fold kind of gal. Um, just because I feel when you stand the card up, I'll find my other one that's a side fold. So I don't know. They don't, when you've got your side fold and it's standing there, presenting, you haven't, it doesn't sag. Where if you do it like this, there's more risk that it's going to sag and look terrible where if you have it as a side fold they sit nicely and stay where they're presented no no i'm talking about like a normal hamburger so hamburger patty barbecue sauce cheese there is no way i could eat this but this is my ultimate hamburger patty cheese barbecue sauce lettuce tomato Pineapple, beetroot, that, and possibly an egg. That is a hamburger with a lot in Australia. Okay, Brenton, 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 please tell me where you're from in the world. Are you an Aussie? I've never had a teriyaki burger. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely an egg before. Yeah. So in Australia, if you go to like a... I know I'm talking about when I was a kid. I was never allowed a hamburger with the log because I was so flipping huge um, when I was a kid. But yeah, that's a hamburger with the lot. And oh... The beetroot and the pineapple just make it extra juicy. So, yeah. Sorry, concentrating for a second while I get this lined up. Just using my silicon mat because, you know, I can be messy at times. Cheese, lettuce, mustard, no, see, no, mustard and mayonnaise, they're not a thing here in Australia, we have those on chicken burgers, I'll have mayonnaise on a chicken burger, but not on a hamburger, we are, ah, right, thank you Brenton, thank you, what is beetroot, beetroot is beetroot, um, can someone look up if beetroot's called something different elsewhere, yeah, so Brenton, thank you so much um, for the thing. And the best burger I've had in my adult life is in my husband's hometown, which is near you, Brenton, in Tumbarumba. That was the best burger. And in the Riverina region down there, you guys have the best milk. When I could drink milk, oh, my God. And I've had these as an adult, so... The best milk, the Riverina fresh milk. Please tell me, Brenton, the Riverina fresh milk still exists. And if I go down there, I could get a strawberry milk. Oh, so good. You just Googled it. Okay, Paula, tell me your results of your Googling. I would love to know what beetroot is in America. You're afraid to ask. Beetroot, it's a red, it's a red, red, red red root vegetable oh a beet okay wait <laughs> look normally australians um shorten everything but yeah we call it beetroot there you go oh i've never heard of that mind you it was a long time ago when i was it was uh it was 17 years ago I had that burger. So that's how good it was because it's left that lingering 
lingering um, lingering memory. It was when my mother-in-law was very ill. But yes. Right. Okay. That is our three strips done. And next I'm just going to do our card front. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's a tap is the taproot version of beet plant usually known in Canada. Yes. But the other goodies sound great. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, generally we don't eat the top of the beet, although it is totally edible. We normally don't do anything with it. If you watch MasterChef in Australia, they have done a lot with it this season. Okay, any Aussies here watching MasterChef? I was mentioning to Lavender last night because we're down to finals week. This season of MasterChef, whilst we've really enjoyed it, feels like the longest season ever. And I can't work out why. It just really feels like. Uh, yeah, beet greens in salad. I'm sure we do beet greens in salad. Hello, Chris. Um, I'm sure we do beet greens in salad. But, yeah, we're big beetroot. Like tinned beetroot is a bomb. Me and my dad love tinned beetroot. And my mum hates it. So definitely took after my dad there. So now just attaching these to our fresh freezer card fronts. Oh, it looks so pretty on the fresh freezer. I am a huge fan of this colour. And I think I'm going to go back to my fresh freezer nails next time. I'm allowed to get my nails done. Luckily, they're not due to be done at the moment. But anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All roasted beetroot. Yum, Margaret. Yum. Yes. Yes. It's just, it's very stainy and messy. But oh, the flavour of beetroot is so good. I don't have any tinned beetroot in the house. And I haven't eaten lunch. This conversation is not helpful at all. So, Brenton, I need to pick your brain. How did you find me? Are you a crafter? Because it's very funny. You've got, you live very close to where my husband grew up. Close enough in country terms. Oh, that sounds good, Cindy. I'll take some of those, thanks. And I just need one more card base. We're getting there, girls. We're getting there. I was a few minutes late. But we've done lots of fun stuff today. I'm glad I didn't stamp that whole background. Okay. Oh, three... Three strips. They may be, I don't know, they feel like they may be a titch long and some may be a titch short, but we're just going to make it work. So this one, the sentiment, is going to go on the top. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit so the sentiment can go here so I am thinking about where things are going as I'm sticking these down ah very cool Lisa very cool how can we get on to this conversation I re oh hamburger hamburger the way we sorry they're going how the hell did we get on to this conversation we were talking about card folds. Look at our tangents. They're rather epic today, I may say. Ah! 
awesome. That's fantastic, Brenton. It's a fun company to uh, work with and as you can see I've got a whole lot of friends all over the world because of this hobby that I've turned into my business over the last 10 years. Okay that's two. Now this one I think I said just let me play with my sentiment because I've got this odd bit here and I've got this odd bit here so if I put that sentiment like there I don't lose any of my colour but I cover up the bits I don't like that works well don't mind me here chatting with myself Well, I'm very glad to always have you guys here, whether you comment or not. I'd love you to comment. And it's funny, when I post something on Facebook, I get all these normal not regulars just there going, oh, this, that, or the other. And I'm there going, oh, yay. I love that. I love it when people interact. It's great. Okay. This one will need some trimming off. Now, let me grab dimensionals. Now, I didn't add any additional embellishments because this windshield wonder is pretty busy. Now, the one thing I would possibly add, I think I mentioned it a little bit earlier, is possibly our opal rounds. Because they're, oh, they're a bit special. Where are they? Oh, they could work too. So the ones that would work, I'm looking more in the clear variety of our embellishments, are the clear ones on our elegant faceted gems or even the, um, the white opaque ones would work. Or oh, here they are. Or our iridescent, like they've got glitter in the opal rounds. If you wanted to, I am choosing not to, but if you wanted to, either of those could absolutely work. Opal rounds are lovely. Ooh, congratulations, Brenton. Yeah, the extra 5% off when you level up is awesome okay so that's these done i'm going to grab my long handled scissors and just snip i think it's just this one edge that's annoying me yep okay awesome i think all the other edges are fine it was just that one Itch. Scissors away, lid on, glue. Yay, printing! It's nice. So exciting that pre orders arrive. In. Now I don't feel so lonely that you guys had got shafted and not got them yet. So then everyone can enjoy their pre orders. Such fun. As I said earlier, I'm almost put everything away. And I've chosen a bit of a mixture for my customer cards. So if you would, I always blog my customer cards, but I can um, certainly show you in a video when all the products are released how I made my customer card. Do you know what? I haven't even made it yet. I've just chosen what I think will work and those products. Oh, that's perfect, Angie. David and I pretty much share the, the daily housework. I can't do like the whole house in a day or a morning or anything like that. So we do get some help in. 
um, to help with that. So like, because there's no use mopping if you don't vacuum first. And I can't do that all in one go. And the scrubbing of the bathroom is difficult with my hands. So yeah, definitely getting some extra help. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, he did. <laughs> Angie, that's funny. I missed that comment. So the kind of thing about your leg didn't make sense because I hadn't scrolled up. That's okay. What else have I missed? No, that was the only comment. I couldn't do it. Oh, geez, not good. Not good, Angie. Okay, all the dimensionals are on now with all that jibber-jabbering that we did. Now we've just got to attach them and our cards are done. Yeah, yes. And then I'll make the others up later. So I've got like two, four, five, and then all my um, off-cut scraps to make up into cards or if I'm not happy with my original bits that I stamped they may go in my granddaughter's um, bit so yes oh I just got a notification oh that's awesome Wurge he is a keeper yes I know I know, and you are unfortunately more vertically challenged than what I am, Wedge. That's why I love you so much. I do, I mean, you're an amazing person, but I love finding people that are shorter than me because it makes me feel tall. I know I've told you this before. Okay, so happy birthday on that one. I don't think that's quite straight. That'll do. Oh no. Oh my god, Angie. That's that's an epic tale. Wow. So they couldn't skin graft again? Or they just had to try and encourage it and do all of that jizz or jazz. So this one. We're going into the corner, right there. Especially with these ones, we could, look, I am going to add to these ones. These full sheet ones don't need anything, but these ones on the fresh freezer, I'm going to grab the opal rounds because I think it'll just finish them off perfectly. But the full card fronts, are way busy enough but these ones could just use with a bit of possess okay now for all my demonstrator friends it won't apply to my um my customers but i know a lot of my demonstrator friends watch i am, have been asked and am doing a live office hours video in the demonstrator planning place tomorrow. Oh, this one I wanted up. Boo hiss. Do you know what? I could still. Oh. Boo hiss. I could still put it there. Or I could put it there because I've got double pink. So I might put it here to cover up the second pink. And that will have better balance that way. Um, yes, yeah, so 10 a.m. tomorrow, which is two hours earlier than what I normally go live in the demonstrator planning place. I will be there with our lovely DDM talking about videos if you want to 
come and say hi and not that I'll be nervous. What's Montreal? Wow, tonight. What's happening in Montreal? I need to know now. I've missed something. Yes, it is a bit exciting. I haven't written my notes. That was the note that came in my head that I had to write down earlier. It was just something I did and said, and I went, oh, yes, I must talk about that tomorrow. Now, I'm thinking this one here doesn't need anything extra, but where the sentiment is off a little bit, I'm just, just kind of thinking that... Kind of in the corner there. Tell me what you think. Oops. That one wanted to come off the sticky completely. Oh, is that my second pre order at the door? It is. Thanks, Bob. I've got my second pre-order for the bits that I couldn't get at the time. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Hockey Stanley Cup. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Woodbridge. And this one we're not going to add anything to. See, I promise my second or my second pre-order is only a little box. Although I don't think this is my pre-order. No, this is my celebration catalogs. It's just catalogs because I'm thinking on that second order I ordered um, pattern paper, which wouldn't have come in a tiny box. Hello, Miss Maria. How are you? Right, so that's all our cards done. And I've got the other ones to make up. So I'm doing well. Thank you, girls and guys. I will not forget you, Brenton, uh, for joining me today. So let's grab out everything we used. We didn't use that much, really. Three stamp sets and some paper. Oh, and some dies. Okay, we did use a bit. So I shall show you that card. I shall show you this card. And I will show you. No, yes, this card, this card, and this card. So they're kind of the three designs that we made. And, of course, we used our stunning opal rounds. So what I started with, background of Butterfly Brilliance. For my darker cards, I used Basic Grey. For my Freesia cards, I used Smoky Slate. To colour or spotlight our butterflies, I used Watercolour Shapes. And then for the sentiment, I lay it up Biggest Wish. So you can use whatever sentiments you'd like to layer up. And just to add a bit of pizzazz to a couple of the cards, I added the opal rounds. I know, we're still in quarantine at home. Hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll hear what will happen as of Friday or Saturday, really. So, yes, that's why I'm here, but I do need to go and replace my blender today. Unfortunately, I need to use it. So that's on the cards for this afternoon is to replace my blender. Oh, 
awesome, Lori. You will not regret either of them. They're amazing. If you want any of these products, please head to my online store and I will put the deets up or go to my link tree and you can find it there. Um, I'm still excited about that delivery, Brenton, because now I've got all my catalogues for my customer mail out. So that makes me very, very happy. Um, I will put this, all the details for this up in the blog uh, tomorrow. I need a bit of time to do that. If you have any questions, please ask. I will not be back on Thursday. Thursday for me is full of medical appointments for both myself and my youngest son. He's getting casts off and going to the podiatrist and doing all manner of things on Thursday. But I will be here on Friday and we will play with some of the pattern paper Oh my god, are you serious, Wurge? We do karate next door. I am there like, oh my god, no, I'm not far from the, I'm about 10 minutes from the chocolate factory, the Wurge. Maybe we need to meet there for a hot chocolate one day. But I go to karate next door to Fantastic Furniture with the kids. But yes, I'll be back on Friday. We will play with pattern paper and we'll just have a play and see what we can do and find. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you.